So let's see what's happening for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. So all the Virgo people show it. And okay. All right. I get control for Virgos. Okay. So the month of March, you need to either release the control. Um, it's affecting your relationship. So you Virgos, I got di directly, I say Virgos and control comes up for the month of March, 2019. So whatever is happening, you Virgos, if you are very controlled in a relationship, release this control because it's going to affect your relationship. Okay. So that's the team for you Virgos. Mm. Sorry, I love Cola. So release this control because there is going to be a lot of conflict, okay? So you Virgos, in the month of March, your team is control issues. You're dealing with control issues, you Virgo. So you get to release these control issues, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you Virgo, release the control issues that is going on in your life. It's going to be affecting you. I'm putting it back. So remember, that's the team that you need to learn to release the control issues for you, Virgos. So welcome. We're doing the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising Love Reading for the month of March 2019, Virgos. So let's see what's happening for the Virgos in the first week. Okay, there's a gift that is coming in. Um, you, Virgos, are going to be receiving a gift of love or something unexpected you Virgos are going to receive and it has to do with love. It's like the universe, you have gone through so much bad relationship and the universe is going to be um, sending you um, your twin flame or soulmate. And this is just going to be fabulous. Okay. So that is definitely coming in. Then in the second week, we have the energy of wallflower. Some of you Virgos could be behaving like a wallflower. You give up on life, you give up on everything, and you're just sitting there and you go to your work and you come home and you have no sin of going out, no makeup, you just drag on something. You're not going to find a love like that. You got to let go. You know, whatever has happened, um, sometimes we take life as if. What listen, whatever has happened has happened, okay? Um, the person has moved on, let it go, okay? Don't sit and look like um, you know, and just give up yourself. No. Um, definitely some of you Virgos are going to be working on karma in the third week. Um, and um, what is happening with the wallpapers? So these are the people who bad relationship. Life just doesn't look the same. You're just trying to figure out what is happening, that sort of a thing. And it's as if, yeah, I will never love anymore. Stop. Get out of that. Stop. It's just a karmatic thing that you have gone through, okay? Um, let it go. It's just a karmatic lesson. And um, passion. Mm, Virgos. I know you, Virgos. You like the passion. You like Virgos, you like the passion in a relationship. If there's no passion, mm -mm. so girl, Wendy, you got to do something. Oh, girl, Virgos, you got to do something, Wendy, and bring back that passion, but get that hell out of that relationship, Wendy. Mm -mm. No, Wendy. Whether you have passion or not, once a man is hitting you, get out of that relationship, okay? So, mm -mm, I don't want the passion. The passion can be just so, but you put your hands on me. Bye. Bye. So, let's see what's happening. The gift. What is happening with the gift in the first week? Spirituality. And I thought of this when I got the energy gift for you, Virgos. Because you Virgos are very spiritual. You're like the spiritual sign of the earth sign with the Capricorns. Now, the Capricorns are just over there. Never try to fool the Capricorn. Don't try to fool the Capricorn people. Capricorn people? <laughs> okay. Don't try to fool the Capricorn. So you could be connecting. You Virgos could be connecting with a Capricorn. 
this person is very spiritual this person is going to help you on your spiritual journey okay and that could happen in the first week which is good now we have the control issues coming back up so you Virgos whatever is happening you definitely are dealing with control issues and you gotta let it go okay the wild the wallflower what's happening with a wallflower okay these this is a young man that has been heartbroken and uh, feeling sad and depressed and out of it and you're going to be through this period you're going to be connecting with who you are okay so sometimes we have to be the wallpaper um because that's when everything when everything falls apart that's when we kind of find our spirituality and think oh okay all right you know that's and that is exactly that is going to happen okay then we have the twin flames so some of you Virgos are definitely definitely going to be meeting your twin flame some of you could be in a twin flame um, relationship and you're having some control issues so that could be um, like something that is happening to you because you be you could be in a relationship and having some control issues dealing with some control issues so be careful okay this is good because some of you Virgos are going to be going on dates you're going to be dating all the people you are going to be surprisingly going on dates okay and um, some of you are going to be coming out of that wallflower where um, your friends are going to be setting up a blind date for you so some of you are going to be going on dates and some of you want freedom from a soulmate relationship okay so this could be a little situation with Wendy coming in here and her husband which name I will not call because I can't believe that this man I mean really it doesn't really matter how could you abuse the woman so much and I can't you know what I don't understand about this Wendy situation why have when the parents or his parents did anything about this I can't understand it this is someone who and you know this again ladies and gentlemen you see this always happen you see someone but you never know their stories who would expect that Wendy was living in a nightmare like that because as far as I'm concerned that's a nightmare because I'm telling you girlfriend that man could never ever touch me okay never not in a lifetime because it's not happening not happening not happening and that he could really build and all these people had her work why haven't someone I mean who the hell is he that everybody is afraid of him so that no one could have said hey stop abusing the lady he abused the lady emotionally and mentally how could this have happened to a TV presenter and she never speaks about it and then she comes back and she tell us all all is good in Unterville are you serious you're lying to yourself come on I love you lady wake up take back the femininity get the man out of there that's bad all is well in Antibill and I'm sitting there and I'm I'm like girl why stop lying baby girl it's not it's stop lying it's, it's, it's no all is not good in Antibill Antibill is not good anyway ladies and gentlemen man we shall never call his name on this channel is texting someone else right now god damn it can't understand I miss you Wendy miss you Wendy miss you the woman could even have a good girlfriend I mean how could you be a good girlfriend to Wendy and you know the abuse that she has been going through and you don't say Wendy let it go the money doesn't cost you your life I don't understand it I don't understand it okay let's go and see the Virgos read them okay okay definitely some of you men who are in relationships are going to be released and get your freedom by Hunterville Definitely, definitely. Antivill is going to be released and 
communication. There's a lot. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, listen. There's a situation here. There's a situation here. The center of this month, it has to do with the men, okay, and dating. The center of this has to do with the men and dating, okay? Whatever the situation is, uh, it has to do with the men and dating. Now, some of you are going to be meeting someone new, and it's going out with a person that he constantly, constantly on his telephone. Get up and leave. The man is not interested in you, okay? I teach you guys one thing. If you're on a date with someone and he's constantly texting and on his telephone, okay, if, if, so, if, if it's lunch, that is okay because he's in the middle of the day and he's having lunch. But if it's after work time and he's constantly, it's not work, ladies and gentlemen. He's he's texting someone else to say, hey, I can't come over because I'm having a lunch. A lunch date or a dinner date okay if a man is interested in you he's gonna set his telephone aside and no matter if there's fire storm rain or whatever is going on is not going to look at that telephone until he is finished with his date okay so whoever is going out in this week on uh, this month of March and you're meeting a man that is constantly on his telephone he's texting someone else let it go let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Because that is the central of your month for some of you who are dating. Um, it could be your husband um, is out at dinner and he's constant on the bloody telephone. Get up and walk away. Get the, um, just ask for um, a takeaway and let leave him at the table. Because he's, he's with someone else on the phone, okay? I can tell you that. Okay, what's coming out with the gift? What's coming out with the gift for the Virgos? The gift for the Virgos. What's coming out with a spiritual growth for the Virgos? If good news is going to come out, woo, Virgos who are on the spiritual part, it's going to be good because you're connecting with your spirit guide. Control issues is going to be ending. Um, the wallflower, what's happening with a wallflower? You're going to be removing yourself, leaving that depression. Wallflower are like people who are depressed. The young, who you, the young man, are gonna be meeting a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Okay, twin flame. What's happening with the twin flame? Twin flame. What's happening with these same twin flame relationships? There's a lot happening with twin flame karma. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dating. Mm, yeah. Mm -mm. Some young people are going to be going out on a date. And that's cute. Passion. Damn. Ooh, communication. Let me get the text because I'm worried about you. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> yeah, you can't find him because he's not where he said he was. Okay. All right. What's happening here? The gift. What is coming up with a gift? Some of you are connected with someone. Someone wants to connect with you and you're 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 blocking them. You're like, okay, you're not my type. I, you, you know, I and some of you could be stalked. Some of you might receive a gift from someone who's stalking you. This could be happening in this month. You receive a gift. You're being stalked, okay? So be aware, all right? Because it's like you end a relationship with someone or you went out with someone for a date because it's all about date in this month. And then this young man or young woman begin to stalk you, you know, sending you expensive gifts and leaving things at the door and that sort of a thing. And you're like, mm, no, I don't want to be in this relationship. It's not what I'm looking for, Okay. So definitely, definitely be aware of this, okay? I am going to get something to drink. So I will be back. Two minutes.